Good evening. My name is Tommy Yako, and I'm your host tonight on Random Access. Joining us is Jean Hong Wan, Olympic silver medalist from 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, let's start up. Um, just tell me, what what was it that made you fall in love with swimming and devote your life to swimming? Um, actually, I started swimming when I was about eight or nine years old, and I was very athletic, you know, when I was little, but mm -hmm. not in the swimming, in the, the track and the field. And I was running very fast, and I was on the track and the field team in the, in the elementary school. But uh, um, I didn't like swimming that much when I was little because I did not really know swimming. But I was selected by the local, the, um, you know, my city, uh, city town, the you know, coach, swimming coach at uh, the Chocolate and Field, you know, the, the competition. Mm -hmm. So he selected me because he thinks I might be pretty good a swimmer. The couple of reasons, you know, make him think I, w I might be very good in the future. One is I was pretty tall for my age. Mm -hmm. And the second one is I was pretty flexible. And the third one is I was really, I have a really bright shoulder. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of like three reasons, and he selected me as a swimmer. So when he selected me, you know, um, you know, asked me if I wanted to join the, the local swimming team, even though by that time I didn't know how to swim yet. So he selected me, then I just, okay, I like sports, you know, or, or not just swimming or, or track and fields or running or something, but I like sports. And uh, so I just asked my mom, so if I can go or something, my mom said, yeah, why not? You know, in the summertime, you know, it's really, really hard. And swimming mm -hmm. maybe is the best, you know, sports you can do it. So I said, okay, so I joined a team. That's how I, you know, get into the swimming. And that's when you began, began competitive swimming as well? Yes, but it's just like locally. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, it's not really high level or something. But once I started, I was doing okay. Not a super good, but was okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so after a year, about a year or a half, and I was selected by a higher level, which we called the sports center yeah. or sports school, you know, in Nanjing, which is the uh, about two hours driving from my hometown. Okay. So I sh actually, I left my home when I was about 12 years old. Yeah, mm -hmm. about 12 or mm, maybe not 12, let me see, maybe about 11 years old, and okay. I left my home. Wow. And uh, I just, you know, went to Nanjing and uh, just kind of like living by myself, right? Mm -hmm. And I, by that time, I started kind of like, you know, the real competitive swimming. Yeah. Before it was just kind of like still, you know, I go to school like normal kids mm -hmm. and uh, just practice a little bit more, you know, do some sports after school. Mm -hmm. But uh, once I moved to the Nanjing in the sports center or sports school, then I started more competitive swimming training, I, I mean. Yeah. I mean yeah, so um, then by that time, I kind of like train half a day, every day, you know, half, wow. half, half the time I, I train, you know. And in the morning, I go to school, and in the afternoon, I just train all the time. Not all the time, but like maybe two or three hours per day or things yeah. like that. Uh -huh. And uh, so that's how I started, you know, competitive swimming. Okay. And uh, so by that time, even though, I, as I said before, I was only like 11 or 12 years old, I just went home twice a year. Wow. Uh -huh. and of, of course, you know, my parents can visit me anytime they want, but I can only go home in the Chinese New Year and, uh, um, and in the kind of like the summer break. Mm -hmm. That's two, twice, you know, a year I can visit my home. Yeah. And yep. so is there anything specific that you can attribute to the, your success? And um, I think the one is I got a really good coach. And uh, in my the whole swimming career, I got a three coach, three coaches. One is the one you know I said before, found me in the mm -hmm. track and field, and he thinks I must be, you know, maybe good in the future, because he thinks I was talented in certain area. Now the second coach, he selected me from the higher. He, she actually she selected me from the higher level, which is Nanjing Sports Center, you know, mm -hmm. and he she thinks you know I might be pretty good, you know. I would by that time I wasn't that fast enough, but uh, I st the, she still think I'm maybe pretty good because I was pretty tall and uh, I was very flexible. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, the my third coach, that's the last one, the very good one. So he yeah, uh, yeah he he trained me for last 12, 13 years and brought me to the you know Olympics games and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think in the swimming, if you want to be really good in sports, not just for swimming, that's how, mm -hmm. how I think, you know, you have to have a one, one very, very good coach. Yeah. One. Second one, you have to have the talent. <laughs> that's how I think. And the third one is you have to, you have work really, really, really hard and to set up your goal and uh, you know, put it a commitment, everything. 
and you may get it. Yeah. And the last part, the fourth, uh, the fourth part, you know, on top of the three, you have to be lucky enough. Yeah. Yes. Now, when you were um, sort of uh, before you went to the Olympics and mm -hmm. training for that, how how much were you training every day? Uh, I give you one number you can think about. You know, uh, so by that time and uh, each week we practice about ten times a week, sometimes mm -hmm. eleven times a week, and uh, we do one workout. Sometimes we do ten thousand meters wow. per workout, per workout. So the whole week we do uh, hundred thousand meters a week. Wow! So that's and, how and much we, we 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 practice. And you were doing that more than once a day, often. Oh yeah, that, sometimes we do three times a week. So for example, in the morning we practice from seven and uh, six to seven thirty. Then then you know have a, a breakfast, then take mm -hmm. a little break, and then we do the morning. Uh, no, do the yeah do the morning session from maybe eight thirty to eleven thirty. Then you take a break. Then um, then you you know after the afternoon you will be start you know swimming again from um, let's say three to seven or six thirty or something like that. Wow. Yes. And uh, what can you say is your proudest achievement in competitive swimming? Uh, my highest achievement will be the uh, the Olympic gold medalist uh, gold medal. But uh, yeah, my experience you know uh, mm -hmm. my uh, what was it? my most enjoyment for the uh, the sport for swimming is the 1992 um, the Asian Game. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that because by that time I I got everything I want. <laughs> <laughs> I won the, the four gold and I won silver. You know, well, yeah. I won all the events, individual and uh, relay relay events. I won everything, mm -hmm. and I was ranked the top one in the whole world in the 100 butterfly and the 200 butterfly. And uh, the 92 Olympics, the, you know, I got a silver, which is I think lucky enough to get a medal. Yeah. But uh, I that di I didn't get exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. So I set up my, my goal in the Olympics. I, w I wanted two gold. I didn't get none of them. Oh. And I I set up a goal to break you know uh, the bigger record. I didn't get it either. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said the the I, I did my best, but I didn't get what I want. But uh, the more valuable for d by doing this is because. I went through everything. You know, mm -hmm. it's the hardest one I think. I think in my life, I went through everything. I uh, I taste the successful feeling I had in the 90, in 1990 Asian game, and also I taste the kind of like uh, you feel your feeling in yeah. in the in the, in the 92. But uh, I because those you know valuable experience I had you know for those two big games in my life, and I think if I can went through everything like this and there's nothing else I, I'm afraid of in my future. Yeah. So that's something I learned from swimming.